What would happen if every starting quarterback just left the NFL said, I'm done with getting hit, I'm going to work out at McDonald's or something? Well, today we're about to find out. It's time for the backups to rule the NFL. We only have five players at a 70 or higher. We only have one starting quarterback under a 60 overall. That's the Bears quarterback in Tyson Badgen at a 56. Okay, Bears fans, don't expect to be doing anything in this challenge. Bengals obviously have Jake Brown. I'm looking for him to do big things as he had a pretty good year last year. Kyle Allen might do something. Broncos have Jared Stuff. I'm actually very excited to see what DTR does. The Buccaneers have Kyle Trask. The Cardinals have Clayton Toon. The Easton Stick is on the Chargers. The Chief have Blaine okay. Gabbert at 59 overall. He's went from having the best quarterback to one of the worst. Commanders with Jacoby Brissett. I'm actually looking for them to do big things. Cowboys have a Cooper Rush. Mike White is on the Dolphins. For the Eagles, it's Marcus Mariota. Can he get his career back on track? Falcons is Taylor Heineke. 49ers have the Panthers legend Sam Darnold. Tyra Taylor on the Giants. I think he'll do good stuff. CJ Beathard on the Jets. Eddie Bridgewater on the Lions. I don't know how he's almost a 70 overall, but don't ask me. Sean Clifford is on the Packers. I have no clue who that is. I guess Madden doesn't either. They don't even have a face profile for him. Andy Dalton on the Panthers. I'm looking for him to do big things. Jimmy Garoppolo on the Raiders. Rams have Carson Wentz. Amos Jamin. Let's go ahead and send to the midseason and see what has happened. The very top is the Raiders going 7-0 with Aiden O'Connell. 49ers with Sam Darnold at 7-0. The Vikings at 5-2. I think Joshua Dobbs is a starter. The Ravens are doing good with Huntley, obviously. Jameis Winston and the Saints are doing good. The Falcons as well. I'm just going to go through the rest of them and let you see where your team with the Cardinals are 0-7. Hey, look at the stats and see who's the highest in passing yard. And that is going to be Mike White on the Miami Dolphins. He has Tyreek Hill, so he has one of the best wide receivers to throw to, so I guess it makes sense. Easton Stick is doing good as well. Joshua Dobbs, Bailey Zappi, Jacoby Brissett, Sam Darnold, Lee Bridgewater, Carson Wentz is also up here, and then we'll just go through a couple of the rest of the ones. Now it's time for the fun part. Let's send to the playoffs and see who makes it in. Let's go ahead and look at the stats first. Cooper Rush is leading the lead in passing yards. I don't even think he was like in the top five or ten. Since Stick is still second with Jacoby Brissett at third. Jay Brown and Joshua Dobbs is doing good as well. Nick Foles on the Buffalo Bills. Okay, I see you, Nick Foles. Mike White dropped down a lot, but he's still in the top ten. And then Taylor Heineke, Drew Locke, and Bailey Zappi rounds out the top ten. Now for what y'all all been waiting to see, we are going to look at the playoff bracket. Our first seeds are the Raiders with Aiden O'Connell and the 40 49ers with the Panthers legend Sam Darnold. The Ravens made it as the second seed. Nick Foles, like I said, he's coming back to win another Super Bowl. Fourth seed is Ron Tannehill and the Titans. The Falcons at the number two seed with Taylor Heineke. The Eagles at number three. Falcons and Joshua Dobbs ended up winning their division. Go ahead and advance and see who makes it to the next round. If I had to put money on one of these teams winning it, I think it would be the Tennessee Titans just because Ron Tannehill, he's had a bunch of experience. Ron Tannehill didn't even make it past the first round. Okay, well that prediction just completely went out the window. The Nick Foles and the Bills do advance, beating the crap out of the Miami Dolphins. The Baltimore Ravens are moving on as well. Falcons just barely beating out the Rams. We have the Giants beating the Eagles, and we have the Pasture not moving on as well. It's another week and see who's in the championship game. Raiders and the Bills. Uh, I told you guys, Nick Foles, look out for him, because he just blew out the Ravens 31-7. to My God. Sam Darnold on the 49ers, and Joshua Dobbs. Okay. For our MVP winner, it's actually going to be Joshua Dobbs. 49ers end up beating the Vikings by 11 points to me in the Super Bowl. We have two of the number one seeds in the Super Bowl, which is kind of weird, I guess. They have a really close game here. The Raiders are just barely winning by seven points over the 49ers, 17 to 10. Raiders score first in the second half with a field goal up by 10. The 49ers drive right down the field and get a touchdown. In fourth quarter now, the Raiders are going down, score another field goal. Then Sam Darnold goes down and throws a 53-yard touchdown to Devo Samuel. The Niners are up by one point here. The Raiders are in field goal range though with about a minute and a half left. Oh my God, did they miss the field goal? They didn't end up getting it. I guess they did miss the field goal. The 49ers run the clock out and win the Super Bowl 24 to 23. And Sam Darnold, we trust. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys out next time. Peace.